Hey everyone, so today we're going to be learning wave dashes. Wave dashes are a really useful mechanic when you don't have boost to be able to speed your car up as well as to recover and keep your momentum going. So with that being said, let's get into it. As mentioned before, the wave dash is very useful for recovering as well as continuing your momentum off of the wall. So to start the wave dash, you're going to single jump in place. Next, you're going to single jump and press S to tilt your car at a 45 degree angle looking up like this. After that, you are going to use your second jump as well as W to throw your car forward. To do this, you need to wait until the back of your car is about to touch the ground. This will cause your car to reattach to the ground and throw it forward. Another kind of wave dash that players use is a sideways wave dash. In order to do this, you're going to start by jumping. Then you're going to use Q or E to tilt your car at a 45 degree angle like this. Next, you're going to use the A or D key on your keyboard while using your second jump to throw yourself to the left or right as you reconnect to the ground. With these tools, you'll be able to recover quickly with no boost as well as continue your momentum when coming off of the wall. So let's get into some examples what you could use in your everyday games. Here we see Delta on the backboard of his opponent's net. As he tries to recover, he utilizes the wave dash in order to get a jolt of speed to get to the boost quicker and rotate back to defense. The wave dash is definitely an important mechanic in Rocket League, and I hope that this tutorial will help you guys improve at it and be able to use it in your everyday games. Make sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you.